Yo, what's up guys? My name is some kind of hey 22 and today I'm going to be bringing you some Medal of Honor multiplayer gameplay. This commentary is going to be like a first impressions of what I think of the game so far and how it plays and just showing you a pretty good match of Team Assault. Last night I picked up the game at a midnight opening, popped it in and uh, turned on my hapage and pretty much recorded all my first games and I actually uploaded uh, literally my first game last night and put it as my previous video so if, if you want you can go back and check that out but it doesn't have commentary to it. I just wanted to get the footage out there right away to anyone that might be curious about this game that didn't get a chance to pick it up. This commentary here I'm going to go a little bit more in depth about you know how the guns work and how the game plays and everything like that. So let, let me start off by saying that I am playing, like I said, Team Assault. This level here was one of the levels in the beta. It's called uh, Kabul City Ruins. And don't bash me for getting that name wrong. I don't actually know how to pronounce half of the maps on this game. But I am on the American side, which I believe are the Rangers. You can see here I'm using the M16. In this game, you're going to have three different gun classes. There's going to be your Rifleman class, your Spec Ops class, and your Sniper Rifle class. And within those classes, you eventually upgrade guns, your magazines, the type of bullets you use, your scopes, all that good stuff like that. Like, here you can see I'm using a red dot sight. I also have unlocked on this gun the open tip ammo. And right now, I believe I'm using the, just the regular stock barrel on this. And eventually, you know, you unlock like a silencer and a uh, muzzle brake and stuff like that. I'm using the open tip ammo like I said, and what that really does is like... I'm just going to use Call of Duty as a comparison because, you know, I'm primarily a Call of Duty player. So if you, use, if you see me use a lot of reference to Call of Duty, well, that's why. So this is really, you know, a view of a Call of Duty player, overall first person gamer. But well, let me get back to the point I was talking about. The open tip ammo, what it does is it gives you extra damage in return of less bullets. So you're going to have a smaller magazine, but you're going to have more damage for each bullet. You start off with the stock magazine, then you're going to unlock the extra magazines, and then you unlock the open tip ammo, which, in my opinion, are a lot better than the extra magazines because, you know, it kind of evens itself out. You get less bullets, but you get more damage, so you take guys down a lot faster but really guys about this game I mean I picked it up thinking you know this is just gonna be a game to hold me off until Black Ops comes out and I was probably never gonna play it again or whatever I just needed something new from Modern Warfare 2 but really this is a very fun game guys when I picked it up and popped it in I was just amazed by all the sounds the graphics you know you can tell they put a lot of work into the maps and you know the sound and everything like that but it's really like a team based game I mean it's not like in Call of Duty a game where you can just like run around and go on like a 20 kill streak just knifing guys in the back shooting off the hip with like an mp5 or something calling in a kill streak and just like going on some kill streak whore or something like that this game you actually have to strategically move around the map plan out your kills and you know don't let your guard down because I mean every time I die in this game I really feel like, okay, I just let myself down by, you know, I popped my head up when this guy was looking at me through the scope or ran out into the open of the map and made myself an easy target, stuff like that. Like, like right here, you can see I'm taking cover and, you know, moving while I reload and pop back up, checking my surroundings and everything like that. Right away, I, uh, there's no, like, tactical layout, but there kind of is. I mean, I changed my settings on, a uh, just made the crouch like R3 in sense of using the PS3 because I do play on PS3 and right there you can see me get my first kill streak which in this game is called a score chain I got it at 50 points for a score chain and they give you the option of choosing a UAV or a mortar strike and here I get my second one so I get a rocket strike and a match ammo now you get the choice between a defensive or offensive score chain your offensive one gives you the ability to get kills but it's gonna give you less points towards your next score chain if you call in your defensive one like your UAV it's gonna help out not only you but your whole team and you're gonna get more points towards your next score chain 
But obviously you're not going to get any kills off of it, but it does help you build up your next kill streaks. Right, right, right there you can see I call in a mortar strike and I believe it gave me one kill. I'm not really positive. Another thing too is I didn't get to play the beta, but I kind of wish I did so I could really compare to you guys what they may have changed and stuff like that. But, you know, maybe mo one of you guys that went out there and played the beta can let me know if anything in this looks different to you. But this is literally the first time of me playing Medal of Honor. This was like first gameplay. Well, this wasn't the first match, but this is me playing Medal of Honor for the first time ever. So right here, I find a choke point in the in this uh, map here where, you know, guys are spawning literally on the other side of that wall. And I can see them just popping up. They're coming up those stairs and just coming right through that doorway, making them an easy target. I end up shooting a couple tubes down there. I don't get any hit markers or anything. And I put my mortar strike, and they probably switched spawns or something because I didn't get any kills on that. But, I mean, I don't know if this is um, a glitch or anything, but I have found points in maps where you can literally get to high ground and watch guys spawn in front of you. And, you know, literally take them out as they spawn. And that's probably something that they should either fix or, you know, whatever. Because, I mean, the spawning in this game is really... You're going to start both on each side. And the spawns aren't going to flip until your teammates actually rush their spawn. And then it'll cause it to flip. Right here, I run out of all my bullets on my M16. And all I have is my pistol. So, if... You're wondering what I'm doing. I'm actually looking for the ammo box. If you can look at the mini screen or mini map right now, you're going to see what looks like an icon with like three little bullets and a plus sign. This is a point in the game. In every map, they're going to have a couple of these laid out. You can find that little ammo box right there that I finally found because I, I couldn't figure it out. And it replenishes your grenades, your tubes, and I think all of your ammo. I'm not sure if it's all of your ammo or some of it, but... You can see here, I get back all my stuff. These guys just walk right past me. I don't know how they didn't see me. And I already had the two balls, so I ended up just shooting it at them. Right here, I get uh, the choice between a rocket strike and a match ammo. I call them the match ammo to try to help my team because the game is very close right now. And I did not know this at the time, but right here you can see I got a missile attack and a flak vest. I don't even know what the flak vest is. And I didn't find out until after this that the, the freaking missile attack was the fucking Predator missile. And I don't even get to call it in. And uh, I'm kind of pissed about that because, you know, the Predator missile um, is actually a pretty high score chain in this game. And I didn't even get to use it, so I'm kind of upset about that. But I will try to upload video later on where, you know, I get some pretty high score chains and call in my Predator. But I end up calling in the Flak Vest instead. I figure anything uh, defensive is going to help out my whole team overall so we could win the match. As you can see right now, this is a very close game. We were losing the whole time. We end up coming back. Right now, my score chain is 240, 250, and I die one away from whatever that next score chain was. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that uh, next game and reveal that to you. If you guys haven't seen all the score chains already, because I haven't uh, gotten each one yet, so I'm even excited to see what they are. But anyways guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the my first first impression video. I'm going to be doing one with a sniper rifle and showing you guys, you know, how the snipers work in this game because it's actually very effective and I want you guys to check that out. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about Medal of Honor or you want to see me post something, ask me in a comment or a PM and I will try to include that in my next video. Anyways guys, till next time, I will talk to you soon. Peace.